uh, because Roger Gory Peterson, of course, was one of the great wildlife bird artists of the 20th century. And they weren't very practical for feeding or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Just for their ornaments. They're not practical. <laughs> Lots of things that's not practical, but <laughs> attracts the female. <laughs> uh, what we have on exhibit here and until January is the watercolor paintings of uh, Dan Meyer and the oil paintings of Len Russell. And uh, in connection with exhibits, we always try to have education programs that make the connection between artwork. Uh, they spend a lot of time in the field learning about the natural history of these animals that they're painting so they can be used for educational purposes. So we have school groups come here and learn about uh, uh, nature by studying the artwork. Much of this wildlife is found here in western New York, like the black bear and the, the yeah. river otter. Well, otter. Well, a, a typical, well, a, a, an adult male, may, maybe at, at this height, maybe standing. probably standing up, up that high, maybe 350 pounds, maybe a large one, 200 kilograms, big, a big one would be, yeah. And there, uh, just in the last 25 years, their populations have expanded dramatically here in the Northeast. throughout the Northern Hemisphere. I'd like to continue the tour out this way and down this hall and through that door, right? As, as we have it here. American? Yes, Audubon was American. Two days a week, uh, we took them outside all over western New York into our state parks and uh, Mark and Tina uh, for hands-on nature education so they could learn part of the biology vocabulary. Grew up right here in Jamestown. He had the good fortune to have a teacher uh, when he was in seventh grade when he was 11 years old. 